Hello and welcome to the Museo. I am Carol Latham, the Community Outreach Specialist for the Museo, Museum and Cultural Center here in downtown Anaheim. And I'm delighted to welcome you to our fall exhibits. We just had the opening reception for the fall exhibits. We had such a great time. There was a fabulous jazz band. We had lots of food and there were so many people here enjoying both the Anaheim Art Association exhibit and the Halloween 100th celebration, their exhibit. It was so much fun. I am so excited to introduce you to Karen Neal on the Anaheim Art Association. She will take you through this extraordinary exhibit. It is awesome. Well, it's probably the best exhibit we've had yet. Um, we've got 34 new entries this year, people who have never been in the show before. And I think it exhibits the wonderfulness of the show because the, the art is just incredible. And this is the first time that it's been held in the main gallery. Normally it's been in the Carnegie ga galleries and uh, we moved it this year to the main gallery. What's your feeling about that transition? Outstanding. That's about all I can say. It's just a, a venue that any artist would be happy to be in. And we want to thank the Museo for having us. It's an honor to be here. This was taken out in the uh, Joshua Tree Desert area. It's a verdant, it's a desert uh, bird. And uh, I noticed this on the way down the road and I decided to go back several mornings. And uh, this is like just after sunset in the morning, sunrise in the morning. And I set up a camera with a remote control and then stayed another 100 feet away from it and waited for it to come into its nest. There was two of them feeding the young. Uh, one would go in and the other one would come by and listen and make sure there was nobody in the nest before it jumped up through the, the bottom of the nest. That's where they enter. And uh, it was feeding the young for several weeks. And I had the opportunity to capture this and I just love the, uh, the, the uh, the cactus and the color and everything. And just a great opportunity to, to capture this bird. Well, it's on acrylic, on canvas, and it's, uh, I'm always looking for something unique and different when I paint, and uh, I love the coast, and I love the nostalgia of, of the Volkswagen with the surfer community. And uh, we owned a, a Volkswagen when I was a young toddler, and it just, it, it resonated. I, I, I paint photorealism and I try to capture exactly what I see as I see it. And it's a challenge, but when I get it, it does okay. <laughs> I had the opportunity to travel to Morocco in April and visit with a semi-nomadic family in the Sahara Desert. And this is the grandfather. And his sons were out tending the camels. We had tea with his daughter-in-law, who was actually spinning wool from the camels. And this shot literally was just caught on the fly. He just stopped and looked. And he wasn't looking at me, but his expression was just telling so much about his life, the, the hardships, what he went through, and how he managed to survive and raise a family with little children out there as well. She is a woman who works in the building where I rent studio space, and she always has a smile on her face. And she's helpful. If I need something, a light bulb is out, she's there in a second. She can hang, help me hang paintings on the wall. She's great. She's wonderful. But everybody loves her. Her name's Kirsten. She's German. And she is quite the character. And everybody, like I said, everybody loves her. I'm thrilled that I, and honored to have received the awards. I really am. Um, this young man um, is a machinist. He was in the Navy. He's 36 at this point. 
Um, he has a job I had several years ago um, as an assistant machine shop instructor. Um, I was initially just going to do a headshot because I thought his beard was so darling one day with the upturned ends. And, uh, but I got this fortuitous snapshot of the pose that he's in. So I, I then started trying to figure out backgrounds for it. This gear started out, it's about so big, sitting on a surface plate and I expanded it. I, I use uh, Photoshop and whatnot to lay things out. And then I started playing with it and it became the floor underneath his chair. So it's an impossible space. Um, it's also since painting is such a spiritual activity. Um, he has a halo and uh, therefore he, it's called Gearhead. Um, or beatific order of machinists. It was a favorite car trip through Utah in the Dixie Forest and I actually pulled off along the road and did some sketching uh, in pencil and took some photographs and then this was a studio piece but there was that magical quality where the sun kind of looks like glitter late in the day and that's what really inspired this piece. Uh, I primarily work in soft pastel, which is uh, chalk-like, and there's not a lot of blending or color mixing you can do, um, so it's a lot of, uh, all about layering on a, a paper that's sanded or one that has tooth. And the light is what always captures me. Um, I primarily paint plain air and then take those pieces back, and some of them get developed into studio pieces like this. But it's always the light that captivates me. Wasn't that an amazing exhibit? Thank you, Karen, for sharing a little bit of what you'll be able to see when you come to see the Anaheim Art Association's 59th juried exhibit in the main gallery at the Museo. As you know, the 100th celebration of the Anaheim Fall Festival and Halloween Parade is just around the corner. And I'm so delighted to have Kevin Kidney, one of the curators of this amazing exhibit, to share a little bit with you. There's so many stories to tell in 100 years, if you can imagine of this amazing, unique festival that any city would die to have, I tell you. It's, a, it's an incredible treasure to Anaheim. Um, all the different people, when you think of, who have been involved with this over the past hundred years, names we don't even know. Uh, there's a lot of anonymous people in some of the photographs on the walls in the gallery, and, but we know they were creative and fun and had the time of their lives, and uh, it's so much fun to revisit them and connect with them as Anaheim residents of today. I think the most fun thing is just seeing a community come together to put on a show, a party, that other people from other towns and other places were coming into Anaheim to experience. And it's just so much fun to try to imagine yourself in, you know, in, in, in Anaheim in you know, 1948. We have some amazing color footage, film footage of, uh, of the Fall Festival in 1948, which will blow your mind. First of all, it's very hard to find color footage from that time. It's like home movies um, with no sound, but you can just see the fun and the laughter and the, the joy of all these people putting on a show for each other, performing, singing, having costume contests. Uh, it's just, that, I think that's the most fun is just um, seeing ourselves in, uh, in people from a long time ago. I have to tell you, there's one thing everybody should look for when they come to the exhibit. Uh, in the film footage from 1948, you will see a very, very young 18-year-old Dick Van Dyke, who performed here in Anaheim in 1948 at the Fall Festival, goofing it up with a pal of his, playing the cigar box guitar, or whatever it is he's doing. And it is unmistakably uh, him, and it's, uh, it's a treasure. It's an amazing thing. And, I don't even know if he's seen this. <laughs> we need to get him up here. We need to get him yes, up we here. do. When you come on down to have a look at this exhibit, you'll be able to go back in time, imagine yourself back then, and then you'll be able to experience what it's like now. 
you'll see some of the costumes, some of the floats, some of the excitement from years gone by. So, you know, we invite you to come be part of this special occasion. Here's a look at some of the upcoming events that are part of this amazing fall exhibit. Museo, in collaboration with the Brea Gallery, will host Threads That Bind from October 14th through December 8th. And then join us for our fall outdoor movie series. Thursday, October 19th, The Nightmare Before Christmas. October 26th, Hocus Pocus and November 2nd, Coco. And just to show you that we work outside of the box, we would like to share a little bit about the teacher appreciation event we recently had. Welcome uh, to Museo Museum and Cultural Center. And today we have a great event going on. You can see there's lots of activity going on behind us because we are hosting a teacher appreciation night here at Museo. We're opening our galleries to a group of wonderful teachers from the region. And we're going to have a wine and paint night with a guided painting just for fun. And then talk about our upcoming exhibits and all of the wonderful things that are happening here at Museo. I'm going to be the artist in charge of the uh, uh, class tonight. We're going to be doing a beautiful sunflower painting, which is good and seasonal for, for fall. And then we're helped by a, a bunch of volunteers from the Key Club and also from Love Anaheim. So we're really uh, well supported here and we're going to have a great time with teachers and we hope to make this a yearly event. I enjoy nothing better than teaching art and music, um, especially especially to teachers, you know, because um, they, 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 they need perks, you know. This is truly just a teacher appreciation night. Uh, we, they don't have to sign up for a school tour. They don't have to sign up for memberships. We're really just here to say thank you and share Museo with our wonderful teachers. I can't tell you how many people say, I'm not artistic, I'm not creative, but every time we do one of these, they look spectacular and the teachers are going, yeah, maybe I can paint. <laughs> I hope that in sharing not only the exhibits, but the programs that we have for fall, that we have piqued your interest. Come on down to the Museo and experience the Museo Museum and Cultural Center for yourself. <laughs>